And finally, tonight, as the American Music Awards pays honor to the industry's best and brightest shining stars, there is one who will not be heard from. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer James Brown, the godfather of soul, is behind bars in a South Carolina prison. As Marcus Jones reports, the one known as the hardest working man in show business, who was always quick to lend a hand to someone in need, is now in need of help himself. <laughs> He's often imitated, but he's never been duplicated, or so the saying goes. At age 55 or 60, depending on whose account you believe, James Joe Brown Jr. is a living legend. Tonight, the music world will pay tribute to a direct descendant of James Brown's legacy, Michael Jackson. The American Music Awards is honoring Jackson for two special achievements, the international success of his current album, Bad, and his role as a music video pioneer. But little, if anything, will be said at tonight's big show about this pioneer. That's because the man who many used to call the hardest working man in show business is now doing hard time. South Carolina prison. Another chapter in a rags to riches story that began 33 years ago with the release of this song. Please, please, please was James Brown's first big hit. Since 1956, he has had more than 115 records on Billboard magazine charts. The most popular of all being his 1965 sold classic, I Feel Good. While his music may still make people feel good, in recent years, Brown has been plagued by trouble. Drugs, back taxes, and a car chase that landed him in jail for six years have wreaked havoc on his personal and professional life. The man who, in the 60s, took it upon himself to use his influence to encourage kids to stay in school and stay away from drugs, appears to be on a desperate downward spiral. I don't understand why he's in jail when there's such an emphasis on trying to treat the drug problem. And I use the word treat purposefully. It makes no sense to me whatsoever for him to be in jail. What do you make of uh, what's happening with him now? Mm, bad. Yeah. He needs help with his drug, drug problem. No one disputes that James Brown led police on a wild car chase across the Georgia-South Carolina border last year. The question is whether his punishment befits his crime, whether Brown's charity and civil rights activity shouldn't be weighed as mitigating factors. After all, it was Brown who, in 1968, sought and received government permission to perform for U.S. troops in Vietnam. That same year, he performed concerts like this one in Boston to prevent blacks from rioting after the death of Martin Luther King Jr. This country owes a great thing to James Brown and we're lucky that we have him here tonight with us. Give another round of applause for James Brown. Where are all of the Bruce Springsteens and Michael Jacksons and Princes? Um, not that I mean to single them out in particular, but I would think that these people whose every utterance is reported in the press it wouldn't cost them anything just to pass comment upon what's happened to james brown and draw attention to um, this case in troubled times brown was a source of inspiration and encouragement to people all across this country whether he can expect the same kind of support in return is uncertain for the 10 o'clock news i'm marcus jones my main man, James Brown. <laughs> and that's our news. I'm Carmen Fields. I'm Christopher Lydon. Good night.